Hey everybody, today's September the 8th, 2020. This is Dr. Wes Fryer, and in this screencast, I'd like to teach you quickly how you can change your Google password, talk a little bit about how you can select and use a good password. Why should you change your password? Because people are constantly trying to hack accounts. Every email address has value. These things are sold on the dark web. And so your email address and your password are valuable and you need to protect them. Plus that gives people access to a lot of things in your life. And that becomes even more and more important as we get older and we get bank accounts and things like that. So we want to get good habits for our passwords. This website, haveibeenpwned.com, is really helpful. You can put in an email address, no password, just an email address, and there's actually a Microsoft white hat security researcher. That means he's a white hat hacker. He uses his hacking skills for good. He has created this site that allows you to see how many different data breaches, which are hacks, an email address has been in. And yours, hopefully, has not been in any, your parents, however, may have been in a lot, and so this is a good site to show because it really lets you let you see how many times has my password been hacked. Now, not every hack includes passwords, but it will show you if the passwords were included in that data breach, and if it was, then that means the password that was used for that account at that time is on the dark web, it's being sold, people can buy it and use it. So here's what I'm about to show you, these steps for how to change your password. You are going to log into Chrome, and you're going to be synced if you're not on a Chromebook, and you're going to choose Manage Your Account. Underneath Security, you're going to be able to click and then see a little arrow underneath signing in that says password. That's where we're going to reset our password. But let's talk about a few little tips here for resetting our passwords. Um, first thing, make sure that your password has at least eight characters. We require that for our passwords at school. And we recommend that you use a combination of lowercase, uppercase characters, some numbers, and at least one special character. And those are the characters you get when you hold down shift and press a number at the top. Make this unique. That means that ideally, you don't use this password anywhere else. And I know that's hard. We all want to use the same password, but that is really insecure and it's not what we recommend or what security professionals recommend. Please only share this password with your parents or with your teachers. Don't share this with your friends. Don't share this with brothers and sisters. They don't need your password. You need to keep it a secret and only share it with parents and teachers if they ask and they need it. So in addition, a couple more things. Please don't write this on a piece of paper that you leave out that other people can find. If you have to write it down, protect that piece of paper, keep it really safe, and don't leave it out, okay? We recommend that students save their passwords in their Google Drive and name that file Password Keeper. I'm helping my fifth and sixth grade students this year in computer class do that with a Google Sheet. But no matter what grade you're in, you can do that. And that is a good process because then your passwords for other places that you need to, to save a different password are all written down in that same place. If you are locked out, we can help you get back into your school email account. You can see me. You can see Mr. Mr. S in the makerspace and middle division, you can go see one of our librarians. All of these people can help you if you get locked out. Okay, so let me show you these, these steps really quick. So you're going to open up a new tab here in Chrome, and then in the upper right corner here, you're going to click on your username and see where it says manage your Google account. That's what you're going to click on to open up this screen. Over here on the left, you're going to see it says security about three or four choices down. And when you click security, that's where it says signing into Google, password, and you can click this arrow. That lets you change your password. You first have to type your old password, then it's going to let you type your new password. Remember some of those tips that I just recommended. If you don't have a good password, it'll tell you it's weak. If you want to do this until you see it say strong, and you've got to type it two times the same and click change password. At that point, your account password has been changed and you should be set. So I hope this is helpful to you. Please share this with other people as well. Let's all encourage each other to use secure passwords so that we can be safe and maintain, maintain control over our internet accounts. Thanks a lot for watching.